Okay, the next question is, match list 1 and 2 and select the correct answer using the code given below in the list. So, we have to find out the correct matches from the list 1 and 2. Okay, so first let's see. Prophase 1. Prophase 1, crossing over occurs. Yes, obviously in the meiosis. Okay, these are the events taking place in the meiosis 1. Okay, so in the patchetin phase, that will be the crossing over occurs. So the first thing is correct. Then the coming coming to the second one, metaphase 1. Sister chromatids migrate to opposite poles. No, in the metaphase 1, the all the chromosomes will be in the metaphase plate. So it is wrong. Coming to the anaphase 1. Homologous lineup at equator in pairs. Actually, these are the pairs. So it is wrong. Now let's see the code. 1, 2 and 3 are correct. No. And 1 and 2 are correct. 3 is false. No. 2 is wrong, right? So the code B is also wrong. Coming to the C option. 1 is correct. 2 and 3 are false. Yes, code C is the correct answer. Chiasmata formation occurs during. We have to be very clear with all these phases. So the first thing, let's see the stage one. That is leptotene. Okay, what is going to happen in the leptotene? So there will be the condensation is going to happen. Okay, so this is the main thing is going to happen in the leptotene. Then in the next phase, that is zygotene. So, in the zygotene, pairing is going to happen. Okay. And then, coming to the next phase, patchedin, crossing over is going to take place. Okay. Then, diplotene. So, there will be the chiasmata formation. And also, there will be the nuclear membrane starts disappearing okay and coming to the final stage that is diakinesis in the prophase one there are gonna be happen terminalization terminalization of what terminalization of chiasmata and also there will be the complete disappearance of the nuclear membrane so, coming to the question, chiasmata formation occurs during where? In the diplotene. So, option A is correct answer. The number of chromatids in a chromosome at anaphase is. So, they are asking about the number of chromatids both in mitosis and meiosis. Okay. So, let's see. In the mitosis. Okay. So, there will be the chromosome like this, that is from the centriole, spindle fibers will be coming and it is going to segregate these chromosomes, right? So, finally, the chromosome will get separated like this. This is going to form a separate cell and this is going to form a separate cell. So, there will be one number of chromatids in the mitosis. Coming to the meiosis, so, the chromosomes will be like this, you know, yes, so after that this will get separated like this, this is going to form a separate cell and this is going to form a separate cells. So, here the number of chromatid is 1 and 2, so totally 2, let's see the options A. 2 in mitosis, no, it's wrong. And 1 in mitosis and 2 in meiosis, yes, this is correct. 2 each in mitosis and meiosis, no. And the option D, 2 in mitosis and 4 in meiosis, wrong. So the correct option is 1 in mitosis and 2 in meiosis. So these are the number of chromatids present in the chromosome at anaphase. Okay. Okay. In mitosis, the duplication of chromosome occurs during. So, all the events happening in the mitosis. 
So, what is going to happen in the yearly prophase? Okay, so there will be the asters formation and also condensation of the chromosome. Okay, coming to the late prophase, there will be the disappearance of the nuclear membrane. And there will be the formation of the spindle. And also there will be the further condensation. So these are the things going to happen in the early prophase and late prophase. Okay. So here can you see any duplication of the chromosomes here? No. So the option A and B is totally wrong. Right. So coming to the interface. So there are three subphases that is G1, S and G2. So S is the synthetic phase and here obviously the duplication of chromosome is going to happen. So if the chromosome is like this, okay, there will be the duplication is going to happen. So this is the duplicated chromosome, okay. So coming to the late telophase, it's just reverse of the prophase. So there will be the uh, uh, com appearance of the nuclear membrane and also the spindle fibers and asters is going to get disappeared. So the correct option is interphase. So in the interphase, the duplication of chromosomes is going to take place. Coming to the next question, the process of mitosis divided into four phases. Identify the correct order in which this phases occurs in mitosis. So it's a very easy question, right? So we know the four uh, phases or subphases in the mitosis. Okay, so the first thing is prophase. The second thing is metaphase. The third thing is anaphase. And finally, telophase. Okay, so let's see the options first. So first thing in the option A, they have given anaphase. No, it is wrong. And coming to the B option, they have given the telophase first. It is wrong. Coming to the C option, they have given the metaphase as first. It is also wrong. Coming to the D option, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. So the correct option is D. The homologous chromosomes follow the process of synapse in the stage of pairing. Stage or pairing of homologous chromosomes takes place. So we have already know about this, right? If it is pairing, you have to, suddenly you have to remember the zygotin stage. Okay. So in the leptotene, the aster and the condensation is going to happen. Okay, in the patched in the crossing over is going to happen. And then in the diplotin, there will be the chiasmata formation. Okay, so in the zygotin phase, the pairing of homologous chromosome is going to take place. So these are the stages happening in the meiosis. Okay, that is in the meiosis one, subphases, prophase one. So in the prophase, there are five substages. So these are the stages. The process of mitosis can be studied in. So they have given the option onion root tip, garlic root tip, tendril tip and all of the above. So this coming to this tendril tip, it is a climbing plant. Okay. So we cannot uh, study about the cells here. Fine. Coming to the garlic, before that we will see about onion root tip. So this onion root tip, it is a monocot. Okay, so as it is a monocot plant, there will be the large chromosomes. Okay, and it also has the meristematic cells. So we all know about meristematic cells, right? Which is the capable of dividing and also differentiating. Okay, so as it has a large chromosomes, it's very easy to study about the cell division. Okay, so obviously the correct option is A. Coming to the garlic root tip, Actually, it is a dicot. Okay, it is a dicot plant and it does not have any meristematic cells. Okay, so here the process of mitosis can be studied in onion root tip because it is a monocot plant and it has the meristematic cells which has the large chromosomes which can be easily studied and easily visible. Okay, prophase of Reduction division is divided into number of stages. The current chronological sequences. Yes, it's a very easy question. 
So let's see the option. The first A option, leptotin. Okay, correct. Pactin. No, they're going to be the zygotin phase, right? Then coming to the option B, leptotin. Diplotin. No, it's wrong, right? So the second should be a zygotin. Okay. Coming to the C option, leptotin. Fine, zygotin. Oh no. So here, the pachytin is going to be the third. The crossing over is going to take place. Let's see the D option. Leptotin, zygotin, pachytin, diplotin, diakinesis. So the correct sequence is in the D option. Regarding the sequence of cell cycle. Okay. Which one is correct? Okay. We know about uh, cell cycle, right? So there are two phases. That is interphase and the M phase. Okay. So in the interface, that is G1, yes, and G2 is there. Okay, let's see the options. Option A, G1, okay. G2, no, right. So S phase should come. So coming to the B option, have given the yes, no, it's wrong. Coming to the C option, G1, yes, G2, and yeah, yes, that is the correct option. So in the D option, see that they have given the G2 as a first phase. That's wrong. So option C is correct. How many mitotic division? So mitotic division, which is nothing but mitosis, right? Or needed for a single cell to make 128 cells. Fine. So in the mitosis, from one cell, cell division, we are going to get two cells. Okay, they are asking that how many cell division should undergo to get 180 cells, sorry, 128 cells. Okay, so here the formula is 2 to the power n. Okay, so we have to find out the n, right? So the answer is 2 to the power 7 will get the 128. So the correct option is a. So the next question is, during mitosis, chromosome go to their poles, okay? So here, the chromosomes are going to the poles in a stage called, okay? Yes, so in the prophase, there will be the astroformation and also there will be the disappearance of the nuclear membrane. And in the metaphase, so the chromosome will be there in the, where? In the? metaphase plate or it is called as a equatorial plate okay so after that yes so this is the chromosome yes after that in the anaphase this chromosome will get separated and it will be moving towards the poles so it is moving towards the opposite poles right Yes, so the correct answer is NFS. When during the meiotic division do the centromeres divide? Okay, let's see the options first. So here, uh, option A that is diplotin and op option C is patched in, uh, which cannot be the answer, which cannot be the answer because it is from the prophase from, prophase 1. Okay, yes, let's see the B option that is metaphase one. Okay. In the metaphase, what is going to happen? It is going to be stand in the equatorial plate and only in the anaphase. So the centromeres and also the chromosome is going to get divided. So the correct option is option D. Let's look at the next question. The number of chromosomes after phase one of meiotic division. So here they are uh, mentioning the meiosis one in reduction division. Okay, so they are asking about the number of chromosomes. So actually, in the meiosis one, it is also called as a reduction division. So they have given already in the question itself. So it is also called as a reduction division. What is going to happen in here? The homologous chromosomes will get paired and there will be the exchange of the genetic material and finally it is going to separate, right? So when it has happened, the number of chromosomes will get halved. Then coming to the meiosis 2, which is called as a equational division, here the chromosome 
number will remains the same which is similar to the mitotic division okay so now now let's see the option so option a it's uh, remain unchanged no it is going to be halves right then become doubled no and then become half yes none of them all. nothing so the correct option is c meiosis can be observed in okay let's see the option first so the option a is root tip and option b is cambium actually so in this in the root tip and cambium there are going to be the mitosis not meiosis is going to happen so we have to find out from the anther and then from the pollen grain so which is the correct option so what do you mean by anther pmc so which is called as pollen mother cell which is also called as microspore mother cell so here it is a diploid okay so in this anther it will undergo two meiotic division to form four haploid cells so this pollen mother cells will undergo meiosis to form pollens okay so when this pollen get matured then it forms a pollen grain so the correct option is c anther pmc so the next question is phragmoplast is precursors of phragmoplast is nothing but it is going to uh, form in the uh, plant cell division let me draw the plant cell consider this is a cell this is the nucleus of the cell okay so here the cell plate okay is going to be formed so when the formation of the cell plate phragmoplast microtubules will be formed in both the sides so this is the phragmoplast and this is the cell plate this phragmoplast which is nothing but it is a enlarged barrel shaped spindles okay which is used to form uh, the cell plate and also it, which is helpful for the cell division of the plant so here the correct option is cell plate so this chloroplast and uh, chromoplast all these are plastids so the colorless plastid is a leucoplast so everything is wrong and the correct option is cell plate so the next question is the nuclear membrane disappears in let's see the options first so the option a is metaphase so here it is going to stand in equatorial plate so it is wrong and then see the option b anaphase what is going to happen in the anaphase it is going to be get separated the chromosomes will get separated so that is also a wrong and then see the option b and c so we have to be very clear with the early prophase and late prophase what is going to happen in the early prophase we have already discussed right so in the early prophase there will be the condensation and ester formation and in the late prophase what is going to happen so there will be the this appearance of nuclear membrane and also there will be the formation of spindles and also there will be the condensation is going to happen so here the correct option is c late prophase chromonemata start associating associating into bivalent chromosomes during okay so what is this chromonemata so which is nothing but uh it it is like a thread like coiled structure which is present in the chromatids let me draw the structure first so consider this is the chromosome so this is the chromatid and this is the centromere so this chromonemata will be present here so this is the chromonemata this chromonemata will start associating at the synapses so synapses happen during the prophase 1 right prophase 1 of meiosis okay so during synapses this homologous chromosome pair up to form a bivalent right so here is the clue okay that is called as bivalent chromosomes okay when is going to form the bivalent chromosomes when the homologous get paired each other okay homologous chromosomes is paired okay so when it pair it is going to form a bivalent so at which phase is going to form yes it is a zygote 
okay so this chromonemata will start associating into bivalent during the zygotin stage because during zygotin there will be the pairing of homologous chromosomes so the next question is the study of chromosomes at meiotic diplotin shows that okay so here they have given the diplotin stage okay what is going to happen in the diplotin stage first of all so there are going to be the nuclear membrane disappearance so nuclear membrane disappear and also there will be the chiasmata formation okay let's see the options so the option a is the intimately paired chromosome ripple each other and begin to separate no it is not going to separate in the diplotin stage because this diplotin is a subphase of prophase 1 right so it is not going to happen here then option b the pairing of homologous chromosome which had intimated in the earlier stage was completed so here we can get a clue point that pairing of homologous chromosome is going to happen in the zygotin stage so it is also wrong the homologous chromosomes remain united by chiasmata yes so option c is the correct answer coming to the next question exchange of chromosome segments between maternal okay and paternal chromatids during meiosis is called yes you know the answer right but just nothing but crossing over okay so here there will be the exchange of genetic material is going to happen so what do you mean by linkage which keeps together which keeps the chromosomes together or we can call it as a closeness of genes okay then what do you mean by dominance so let me write here what do you mean by linkage is closeness of genes then what is meant by dominance so if there is a two two characteristics of genes if there is a two version that relationship between two version of genes okay so that is called as a dominance okay one of the version may be dominant that is called as dominance yes we know the dna replication right which is going to multiply itself so two one going to become two and two become four that is called as a dna multiplication yes so here the correct option is c where it is going to happen it is going to happen in the patchetin stage that is in the prophase 1 of meiosis 1 spindle fibers are made up of what so the option a is protein so the option b cellulose actually the cell wall is made up of cellulose and then coming to the lipids actually this lipids forms the plasma membrane and also some other components like fats oils waxes all those stuffs coming to the pectin it is also used for the formation of primarily cell wall so the correct option is proteins okay so here the spindle fibers are made up of proteinaceous substances which is nothing but protein which is not true for anaphase so here we are going to discuss about anaphase let's see the options one by one option a is golgi body and endoplasmic reticulum or reformed okay so this is going to happen in the telophase all the reformations like nuclear membrane golgi bodies endoplasmic reticulum everything is going to be reformed okay after the division it is going to get reformed so that is going to happen in the telophase fine let's see the option b chromosomes move to opposite poles yes obviously then c spindle poles move farther apart yes it is going to far apart and then option d centromeres split and chromatids separate yes so the chromosomes get separated in the anaphase so the correct option is a because it is not true about the anaphase so the next question is in which phase proteins for spindle fiber formation or synthesis okay so where the spindle fiber is going to be used so this spindle fiber is used to segregate the chromosome in the yam phase right so before this yam phase the proteins will be produced 
for the spindle fibers. So actually in the interface, the first one is G1, yes, G2 and then finally M phase. So before the M phase, there is a G2 phase. So in the G2 phase, the proteins for the spindle fibers are produced. So the correct option is B. So the next question, DNA and histone protein are synthesized during the following phase of cell cycle. See, this DNA and histones are interconnected, you know. So histones are the proteins which is used to pack the DNA, okay. So in all the cell cycle, we have uh, spoke about condensation, right. So it is a thread-like structure and it is condensed. How it is getting condensed? So this histones will pack the DNA like this, you know. So it is packing. So looking like a beads, right. So when the DNA is synthesized, this histones also is going to be synthesized, obviously. So DNA synthesis is going to happen in the yes phase of the cell cycle. During which stage of meiosis, the four group of chromosomes arrange themselves into haploid nuclei and the spindle fiber degenerated. So here they have given the stages of meiosis too. It's just like that of mitosis, you know. So here when it is going to be separated, okay, not exactly separated, they are asking when it is going to arrange themselves, right. So obviously in the last stage, that is in the telophase, it is going to get separated. So before that, it, uh, it will get arranged themselves into haploid nuclei, right? So first of all, the nuclei get separated, right? So, so consider this is the nucleus. So inside this, the chromosomes are present, fine? So this is the anaphase. So it will be looking like this. So the arrangements will be in the anaphase too. During the meiotic division, let's see the option. Homologous chromosomes or separated Okay, it is going to happen in the meiotic division. Okay, and then linkage is disturbed. No, it is not going to disturb any way the crossing over is going to happen. Okay, the homologous chromosomes do not segregate. No, it is going to segregate in the meiotic division. Okay, the option D is all of the above. Actually, option B and C is wrong. So, option A is the correct answer. The homologous chromosomes are get separated in the meiosis during the G1 phase of cell cycle. So we are going to discuss here about G1 phase. Okay. So they are asking what is going to happen in the G1 phase. So here are some options like A. RNA and proteins or synthesis. Yes, obviously it is going to happen in the G1 phase. Let's see the option B. DNA and proteins are synthesis. So we already know that this DNA and protein source synthesis in yes phase. Yes. So option C, cell prepares for M phase. So the cell will get prepared in the G2 phase. Okay. So after the G2 phase, it, it is undergoing the M phase. Fine. Cell undergo duplication. So duplication, obviously, it is going to happen in the M phase. So the correct option is option A. So, in the G1 phase, RNA and proteins are synthesized, is found it. Okay, so we have to find out in this four option in which it undergoes meiosis. So, shoot apex. So, this shoot apex will undergo mitosis. Yes, coming to the reproductive parts, obviously it is have to undergo only meiosis. Coming to the leaf buds, okay, this buds will also undergo mitosis and also the vegetative parts you know so all the vegetative parts like root stems and leaves everything will undergo mitosis so the correct option is b reproductive part okay so the next question is homologous pairing in prophase one of meiosis one is called yes if he comes pairing which is nothing but synapsis right yes so the synapsis when it is going to happen? It is going to happen when the two homologous chromosomes are paired. 
actually you know we know about uh, this linkage and crossing over what is meant by synthesis you know so this is the other name of synapses okay so for this question if they haven't give the synapses in the sense you have to go with the option synthesis which is the other name of synapses okay here both option is there so we can go with the synapses in the meiosis the daughter cells are not similar yes obviously in the meiosis the it is not going to be similar as like that of the parent because of what okay let's see the option we can close our eyes and we can go with the option a crossing over yes right so because of the crossing over what is going to happen in the crossing over so one chromosome from the parental and one from the ma maternal so here the crossing over is going to takes place so after crossing over so the chromosome will be like this okay yes so that's why so the daughter cells are not similar to the parent cell because of the crossing over so diploid living organism developed from zygote by repeated cell division is called okay so all the living organism is i mean all the humans are diploid right so when the fertilization has happened the zygote is going to form right so so from after fertilization when the zygote is formed it will further undergoes division to form the embryo right finally it is going to form the fetus so everything is happened with the help of mitosis yes right so we can go with the option c that is mitosis